stream. I ain't stream. Good to see ya, good to see ya. Hope you're doing well. Let's get started. For I will restore health to you and heal you of your wounds, says the Lord. Jeremiah 30, 17. Don't repay evil for evil. Don't retaliate when people say unkind things about you. Instead, pay them back with a blessing. That is what God wants you to do, and he will bless you for it. 1 Peter 3, 9. And not only that, but you know, there's that saying, kill them with kindness. <sighs> that really, when someone's trying to upset you and you don't take the bait, and you respond with love. I did that once at a Dunkin' Donuts, and the woman started crying. <laughs> I don't, I don't. You know, you could say I made her cry. I didn't make her cry. She was obviously upset already, which is why she lashed out at me. I just asked her to move her car so I can back out of the spot. And um, she was really nasty to me. And for no reason. And she had kids in the back seat. Little kids in, in car seats. And, um, and I was like, wow. Oh my God, you talk that way in front of your kids? And of course that made her get even more upset. And she started yelling and calling me names and I just, I just, <laughs> love you. And she, she started crying hysterically and drove away. She was having a bad day. Clearly I made her feel worse. I didn't mean to, I was just asked her if she could please move so I could get out of my spot. I don't know, but you know, if people are like that, it's probably because they're going through a hard time and you don't need to add to it. If you add to it, it's just gonna make it worse. And did I add to it? Uh, I mean, maybe unintentionally, but I could have I could have matched her energy and that wouldn't have done anything. But you know, maybe she cried and drove away and maybe she did a little introspection and th thought, why? This this woman just asked me to back, like move my car a foot. Why did I react like that? So, who knows? Never pay back evil for evil to anyone. Do things in such a way that everyone can see you are honorable. Do your part to live in peace with everyone as much as possible. Dear friends, never avenge yourselves. Leave that to God, for it is written, I will take vengeance. I will repay those who deserve it, says the Lord. Romans 12, 17, 19. So I remember when I first learned this, I was like, oh, because I think I was in a church and the pastor said like, don't, don't try to get back at people. Just take the high road and then, you know, whatever they have coming to them from the Lord who will uh, take vengeance, uh, is going to be way worse than anything you could do. And then you're just creating more um, negativity for yourself so just you know let it go and, and trust that the situation will resolve itself and so like I don't know if that's a good way to think of it but I, I did think like oh well as long as they're getting revenge and it's way worse than I could ever do that's better so let me do that which is good because it, it caused me to change my behavior for the better but you know it did so because I was like oh they're gonna get revenge worse <laughs> that's not good but um, you know, that's the same thing when people talk about karma, right? They say karma's a bitch or, you know, you'll get your karma or don't retaliate because then you'll create negative karma and then if you just let them get their karma, it's going to come back way worse than you could ever do. So, um, you know, similar ideologies. Interesting. For assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be moved, you're removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Mark eleven twenty three. Words of doubt come out of an unbelieving heart. Yeah, of course. Unknown. He who trusts in himself is a fool. Proverbs 28, 26. Uh, can you think about that in the election? Burp. When words are many, Sin is not absent, but he who holds his tongue is wise. Proverbs 10, 19. Look to your health, and if you have it, praise God. Thank you, God. And value it next to conscience. 
For health is the second blessing that we mortals are capable of, a blessing money can't buy. Isaac Walton. You are so right, Isaac. Oh my God. Like, I, I have a new life. I was given a second chance at life. And, um, you know, I, I mean, I kind of almost died, but, um, but not like I was, like, had a heart attack or something. But, um, you know, I was very debilitated for a long time, for about 10 years. And, um, yeah, I found, um, I found things that would help me and gave me my life back. And not only gave me my life back, but gave me the life um, kind of starting over from, you know, 15 years ago. This whole thing started 10 years ago. And so I got, I got time back, right? I got extra credit. Um, so check out the health stream if you would like to find similar answers. Because uh, I can't say enough about how thankful I am for my health and really without that you kind of have nothing so anyway have a good night hope you enjoy that peace out